everyone, and welcome back- Whoa, welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet and Cloth, I suppose. The last time we faced off against the Stony Cliff Titans, Titan, and we managed to win. And this time, we're gonna start off with battling this guy. And evading the Cloth, who is now hugging me rather passionately. We're also gonna be trying to train up our Growlithe a little bit with Ryan over here. It's weird, Ryan. I was, I was tempted to say Ryan, but, you know, that's not it. Okay, Growlithe's Intimidate will drop the attack of Diglett. But is it gonna be enough? We are three levels lower. This might be a little tough. Luckily, Diglett is going for Growl right now. Nothing super effective. Yeah, that's not going to go really well. Uh, we could go for Astonish, or let's just go for Wiggle. Mimi Gould doesn't really do anything much right now. Alright. Take the lead, Wiggle. Growlithe will get some experience nonetheless. And this growling business from this Diglett won't do them any good. You're wide open! Yeah, <laughs> easy. Now, what does Rayan still have in store for us? After the experience. Luxio! That might be a little rough. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess it's best to just stay in with Wiggle right now. Man, that Luxio is looking rather intimidating for sure. Luckily, our Magical Leaf is not a physical attack, so we can just use our Magical Leaf and be done with it soon. Especially if this Luxio isn't going to actually attack. We do have to finish it off right now, though. So no missing or ranges. Uh-oh. Okay, it's just charging again, I suppose. <clears throat> you can raise your special defense all you want, but I don't think you're living this. There we go. In the end, there was nothing to be concerned about, even with Charge's special effect of empowering the next Electric-type move. But he wants to learn Seed Bomb. That is interesting. We currently have more attack than special attack, so having a... Sp wow. That is a very powerful Grass-type move, yeah. Well, I'd say... We're better off just replacing Magical Leaf. Yeah, it's a special type, special move. And if our attack is higher, we might as well go for this one. Oh, uh, looks like my friend Ingrid is playing Pokemon Scarlet as well. A very good choice. Scarlet is clearly the better choice here. Okay, let's see. What does this say? Hoping to reach Artisan? The signs are here for a reason. Alright. Well, let's just follow the signs. There's a good couple of them. Is that a regular old thing? I don't know all the shiny forms, so I'm... When I see a new Pokémon... And it kind of looks like off-colored because of the way the lighting is working, or... Barely working, har har. Then, you know, I gotta do a little double take. Some Litleo stuff, so there were Litleo around here. Also got Icy Wind, an ice time move. Two Artisan, just over this hill. They are really... Hammering it in there, but Artisan is right over there. Well, that's a good thing, because I'm just about done with this place. I'm ready to see some new locales. Ah, back into the lush greenery. How about we heal up our Pokémon real quick, like... Okay, we are ready with healing and ready to explore the new town. Let's check out these people first. Thanks for that. Looks like I arrived early. Looks like these cycles are just, you know, going. I kind of like Cyclozar. I, I kind of hoped you could have, you know, ridden them as you would ride Coridon, but I'm fine with it. Welcome, they say. And the Skitto is welcoming us as well. Looks pretty happy. Welcome to Artisan, a town where the flowers are as bright and colorful as the artwork. Yeah, there's some pretty colorful artwork over here. It's a Sunflora. Surrendering Sunflora, a work by Brassius. Are these all going to be... Surrendering some flora? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Alright, let's see what this town has to offer. We'll get around the sidelines first with our Coridon. That is a very big pool. It looks like it's fun to just hang out in. 
A refreshing treat for sure. You're all just selling food. Nothing that I really need to go for right now. There's really a lot of artwork. A harvest. The work by Brassius. All right. Lots of work by Brassius, it seems. Churros, as sweet as a kiss. That sounds pretty tasty, but we've got other things to look at. There's also... Can we climb this? I think we can. Looks like there's people. Oh, yeah. This looks like it's fun to be in. If you're a kid and you can just climb around here. Can I ride right on? I could, yeah. Uh, let me get up there. Oh, I barely can do it. Alright, let's see if there's anything over here. Oh yeah, it looks like there's an item over there. Let's see, how do we reach that? We could go over here. Looks like it's one big climbing palace. We gotta get to the end of it. So let's just go up there. <coughs> up here. Man, this must be a really great place for kids. I love high places. I heard outside of town there are big, tall watchtowers in some places. You got that right. That's where we met Mimi. The Mimi... Mimi Q, I want to say. The Gimme Ghoul. <laughs> Alright, we're almost at the end there. And then we can get that TM, yeah. That's skill swap. The user employs psychic power to exchange abilities. This must be a Brassier's original, though the style seems a little off. It seems like it's just a bell. What does this thing say? Paradoxical Popper. A work known by an unknown artist. Oh, it just seems like a... Uh, circle to me. Maybe art is not really for me. There's more arts of all kinds. More The Harvests. Got some items over here. Super Potions. I'll definitely take those. Oh, I made it all the way to the other end. Or is this the beginning again? Oh, this is the other end. Check it out, they say. Check out my Psychozar. We're going on all sorts of journeys together. Yeah, this Psychozar looks pretty cool. Honestly. Alright, let's see. The insides of town. What do we have around here? Well, there's a cafe, as there usually is. Some kids, and artists. What a nice town. And look, a Florgus. It looks so lovely. Oh, I'm a little bit too close. Aw, oh, it's so adorable. I love Florgus. We still haven't seen any Flabebe around ourselves. The kid in the past town wanted a Flabebe for their snom. So if we do manage to spot some around here, we should definitely try and catch one or two. What's this? Is also a cafe? It seems so, yeah. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be anything more than cafes in this town, so no new hat for us. With all that out of the way, I think it's time for us to go to the main gym building over there. Because that's what we came for, after all. A fight with the gym leader. Let's see. Okay, we do have Growlithe level 13. He's not really all that strong. We could rely on the Staravia from before, which might be something we need to do. Do I have some candy available? A little bit, so let's see what we can do. Not too much. L16, that's not bad. Helping hand, that's more for double battles, and that's not really something we're going to be using. I think just to be on the safe side, we'll also get Staravia out from the box. Uh, Arakuda, you're not really going to be very helpful over here. All right, we got Staravia and Growlithe leading the charge. We still have Mimigool, Lechonk, Pommy, and Wiggle over there. They won't be super effective against this gym leader, but we should definitely give it a go. Hey, it's Nimona. Hi, a friendly. It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. What a weird coincidence. I, I, I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, Oh wow, weird. Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look. To prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. As much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. 
add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Hey, Ethers! I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Wow, Nimona sure does have energy. Well, let's go see what this gym is all about. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Friendly, yes? <laughs> Great! Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sun, Flora, Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by the nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sun Flora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sun Flora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun shade flowers. Gather up 10 of them and bring them to the Sun Flora lawn and you pass the test. I'll register the Sun Flora's lawn location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sun Flora statues. Head for those! Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staff there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun! Alright, thank you very much, gym staffer. Let's go do that right away. Right over here, that's gotta be the lawn. And that's the staffer. Hello there. Hi there. I look after Artisan's gym, Sun Flora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sun Flora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sun Flora to spread themselves around town. Ah, so they're in on it, huh? Sounds like the Sun Flora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 Sun Flora, please bring them back to the Sun Flora lawn. That's all from me now. Good luck out there. Alright, the gym test can begin. Alright, let's go find some flora. Like right here. Some flora will now follow you around. And there's another one over here. Easy enough. And we can ride on Karidon to make it go even faster. Uh-oh. Looks like this one isn't so willing to follow. Let's beat some sense into it. Okay, Growlithe, you're up. Let's use Ember. Okay, that was a critical hit. Oh, Leech Seed. It's strange that my Growlithe is like... full FPS and that Sun Flora is low FPS. I guess we're just that much better than it. <laughs> Alright, one more Ember should do the trick. Boom! Oh yeah! And it's burned. Of course, we're not knocking them off completely, I don't think. I hope so. Will the burn take care of it? Oh, well, the leech has got some leeching as well. I don't think the burn... Oh, hello. Hello! Ah! That was whack. Man, she was coming right for us. Okay, Growlithe. This time for real, finish it off. There we go. Critical hit, too. You, you could have done that from the beginning, buddy. Wow, a good amount of experience, though. Then again, I suppose it is a fully evolved Pokemon. Alright, let's find some more Sunflora. They gotta be all around here. Hmm, I don't spot any over here. Maybe next to the regular? Oh, yeah, there it is. Trying to blend into the environment. Come on. That's number four. We gotta find a couple more. Hmm. Not back here, it seems. We can dash as well, though. Oh, hello. What do you have to say? So this is it. A fling, oh. I came to see this famous piece. I can't say I really get it, but I like it. I mean, it's a flower, isn't it? It's a beautiful flower. Just like the ones following me. They are flowers as well. Ah, oh, these flowers are just appearing. We hadn't seen all of this yet. Ah, there is a couple over here. Hello. 
You're coming with us. Whoa, hello. I guess we're swimming too. Okay, let's see. There's gotta be a couple more. Right over there, number six. Come on, buddy. You're with us. Okay, that's number seven. Only a few more to go. Number eight. Hello. Maybe some in the alleyway with some shady dealings. Oh, yeah, there it is. Only one more needed. Maybe the other alleyway? Any sunflora about? No, it doesn't. Oh, there is one. You are sneaky. All right, let's bring him to the sunflora lawn. Come on, everyone. Time to go home. New. All right. We got you some flora back. Everyone's rushing back in. I do like some flora. It's a shame that it's not that good of a Pokemon because I really like how cute it is. Well done at finding all these Sunflora. You pass the gym test with flying colors. Now, please head back to the lobby and report your result. <laughs> okay. That went pretty dang well. And now we've got a gym battle waiting right for us. I'm excited. I think we'll do just fine. Though I feel we'll have to rely on Saravia just a bit more. Growlithe isn't too strong at this moment after all. Seems you successfully gathered Sunflora. And that means you've cleared for gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. And I think we'll do that right away, hell yeah! Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Here we are. Greetings, challenger! Hmm. This is unsafe! Don't try this at home, everyone. That was not really a good thing to do. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding some flora was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Alright. Are you sure your ankles are okay? I trust that you're ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. Alright, if you insist. Don't hit me with that, please. Alright, let's face off against Brassius. It's in a Petalil. Cutie. But we got a cute pup as well. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Oh, Petalil won't be affected by Intimidate, I guess. Alright, we are the same level, so let's use Ember. Bruh. Nice, very good. Mega Drain. Oh, didn't take too much, only 5 HP. Alright, one more Ember should do the trick for Petalil in that case. Down goes that one. A uh, small if. Well, we do have one of those. No reason for us to change out. It's so cute and small. Ember time, though. No chance. Tackle doesn't do too much. One more time. Woof. Very well done. And the last Pokemon is Pseudo Wudo. It's going to be like Katie. This is promised, yes! Let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Alright. Kind of like Katie, where the last Pokemon isn't really a grass type. Although this one's intimidating. I intimidating. Imitating it. And if I'm correct, he's going to terrestrialize it to do the grass type. So let's use Ember anyway. Allow me to touch his work up slightly. I will call it truly Wudo. 
Yep, terrestrializing. And there it is with the grass type. But now it's also super effective to use Ember. But we still got hurt hard by Rock Throw. And I'm guessing that Staravia will be hurt really badly by it as well. But we have to try it. Aerial Ace might take it down. Or not, because it's a high defensive Pokemon. Haha! -ha! Two Pokemon with Intimidate. Alright, let's use Aerial Ace. Whew! Not bad. And a critical. Oh, that might be a little less than. At times, R becomes a race against a clock. Let us increase the pace. Trailblaze. Well, I'm all for you using the not very effective move. Although you did raise your aim speed, I suppose. We're still faster, though. And one more hit after this and we should be good. Especially if it doesn't use Rock Throw. <laughs> We're lucky in that regards. Will it outspeed my Staravia now, though? We'll see. Yep. And that hurts. Luckily, Intimidate lowered its attack, so that might have helped with us surviving now. Alright, Pseudo would have fainted. See you later, buddy. Good job. Endeavor? Nah, that's fine. Brassius was defeated. Good job, Saravia. Thanks for the battle, Brassius. Avant-garde! He doesn't look too happy. Are you okay? Is it your ankles? Oh, hold on. LeChonk is evolving! Yeah, let's go, buddy! LeChonk became Oinkolone. Oinkolone, the hog Pokemon, male form. Oinkolone is proud of its fine, glossy skin. It emits a concentrated scent from the tip of its tail. There we go. LeChonk's evolution complete. Oh, and Parmy is evolving as well. Wow, we are just racking up the evolutions, huh? Pommy has become Pommo. It stands up right now, too. Pommo, the mouse Pokemon. It now it is a fighting type, too. When its group is attacked, Pommo is the first to leap into battle, defeating enemies with a fighting technique that utilizes electric shocks. Pommo. There's still something after that, though. Pommo wants to learn to move arm thrust as well, so let's do that. I think we can get rid of Scratch now. One, two, and ta-da! Alright, <laughs> with that out of the way, let's go shake hands with Brassus. Oh, what artistic tactic you employ! The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokémon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection! Our battle was, in a word, art! Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. And shall we take a photo as well, young... If you possess two gym badges, it will be easier to catch Pokémon of up to level 30, and those Pokémon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this a favorite of mine. Shellbraze, that's what Sudawoodi used. He used his attack suddenly as of leaping out from tall grass. He used his nimble footwork boosts his speed stat. Ah, oh, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. So what do you use the thorn with for, my guy? 
Pardon me, would you be friendly? I've been hearing so much about. Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. But I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel, and I'm one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the Academy. So do tell me, young friendly, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive you to be a champion? Well, it's just fun. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Amona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You will be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. Alright, and with that I think that's it for this episode. We managed to get to Artizona and defeat the gym leader all in one go. Not to mention all the evolved Pokemon we now have. Alright. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more Pokemon Scarlet. But until then, bye-bye!